Hey guys, this is Roland from PCM Tech here, demonstrating our new CAN bus flex fuel system for the 15 to 23 Mustang range. That's EcoBoost and V8. Also F-150 15 to 20, uh, Ford Explorer, Maverick, and many others coming soon as well. So basically, this flex fuel system lets you run a continental flex fuel system in line, so you get a true ethanol reading. Uh, there's no guessing, there's no learning off the wideband, um, much more robust rust system. You can uh, you can blend as many tables as you want or as little as you want. You can make it as simple as possible. You can have just spark timing, a little bit of cold start enrichment. Uh, you don't need to be tuning 500 different tables, so it's a much simpler system. Now, previously we had our flex fuel user adjust, which was... Uh, basically done without a flex fuel system using our cruise control select. So we would turn on our, um, our vehicle and go into edit mode, which is our cruise control on with the engine off. We're in tune select. That's our four different tune slots. Uh, we've also got our variable RPM launch control select. But we'll cancel out that. We'll go to ethanol select, which is on the speedo. And that lets you pick uh, basically your ethanol percentage. So you go, I've got E40 in the tank, etc. You'd have to get out your old uh, water measurement system and uh, trust that you've got that correct. A bit painful, makes you drain your tank completely. Um, if you're running a non moldy tune, you would have to go E85 or 93 octane. And I guarantee it's not going to be easier. There's going to be some ethanol still in the tank or vice versa. So this lets you dial up your ethanol content exactly as you've measured. Now, we've gone a step further and installed a Zitronix uh, inline sensor. Now, you can see down here, we've wired up our ethanol sensor. It's saying E29 in the tank. Now I've dialed up E55, which is obviously incorrect. Now using CAN bus and the stock computer, the only hardware required is our Zitronix converter. Uh, but any CAN bus system would work. And we plugged it in to the stock computer using a very convenient sandwich plate down here. That plugs into your OBD plug. And if you have a look at that, we'll go into edit mode and look at that E30. It's basically matched exactly what's on the sensor. You can no longer adjust the uh, ethanol percentage. The, uh, the converter has taken over. Um, and that'll flick around around E29, E30, just depending on uh, what the system's reading. Now, if we uh, unplug the sandwich plate down here, and uh, you'll see it remembers exactly the ethanol content. That is exactly what's on there. However, now you can manually edit it as well. Um, so it's fail safe, fully fail safe system. Uh, and that's remembered with the car turned off, it gets stored into NVRAM. Um, you don't need to worry about battery being unplugged, etc. You know it's going to have exactly what you want in there. So we'll wind that right down to say, I don't know, let's just put E0 for example. We'll plug in our sandwich plate down here, and you'll see no buttons being pressed back up to E30. Now we'll show some data logs later showing that that all works very smoothly, long-term fuel trims, etc. Everything dials in very quickly. Even on a returnless system, this would lock within two minutes. Um, much more reliable than the uh, the uh, the wideband feedback-based system. You know what's in the tank, you, can, you know what's in the rail, it'll tell it exactly what's in there and it will work perfectly. Um, and if you wanted to lock it, uh, you could just unplug the sensor and go, we know this is what's in the tank and it will lock and stay at that. Now, the question is, how is this all working? Now, it, it works through CAN bus, um, but how is it wired up? How difficult is this to install? Um, it's a very simple system. We use our slimline sandwich converter here, but you could get an even smaller one if you wanted to be more discreet. 
Uh, this is an Australian car. On the US ones, the plug is in a different place and it's actually a little bit more discreet again. And then power-wise, uh, to make it fully plug play user-friendly, we've used a fuel tap, a, um, a fuse tap right here. So the sensor is plugged straight in there with an extra fuse. Very easy, no wiring required. Uh, everything's got nice connectors on there. Uh, no crimping required. And if you have a look up here, you can see the uh, Zytronic sensor itself. We've just cable tied it up there for convenience. Um, and yeah, it all sits up there quite nicely. Um, you would not notice it's there at all. Now, the actual install in the engine bay, uh, if we come over here and have a look, uses a Continental GM, well, commonly found in GM vehicles, flex fuel system, uh, and that's hiding down here. So you can see that's in line in the feed to the rail with a very minimal amount of volume between there and the rail so you get a very accurate reading. However, we've got a big bypass on top here. So that's that anodized uh, metal you can see on top. So that'll support approximately a thousand horsepower of fuel flow, no problem. But you can get the biggest bypass you want, bigger fittings, you can, you can do whatever you want there. Um, and that's hiding under the good old uh, thumper noise system. So you would not know that that was not a factory install. Uh, it's all using nice, nice hosing. Uh, everything's all done very professionally. This was installed by KPM Motorsport here in Adelaide, Australia. Uh, but there'll be different, different workshops around the US, etc., doing their own plug and play systems. Uh, you can do it all yourself. Um, and the wiring's all heat shielded and uh, basically fed just through a grommet back into the engine bay. Um, yeah, so that's basically how it's installed and works. And yeah, it works a treat. Uh, much better than the wideband feedback system. Uh, obviously, you still have the wideband though, so that will correct for any short-term, long-term fuel trim errors. If you have, say, uh, the direct injection in here, uh, there's a small volume in there. Um, within yeah 30 seconds you've emptied all of that and it runs beautifully uh, you can fill a tank up put your boot into it straight out of the uh the uh petrol station and it'll um it'll it'll match exactly what you commanded not that we recommend that you would drive it like that but you can that's how confident we are with this system um huge improvement quite cheap um yeah, looks OEM. And for those guys who need that consistency uh, and you, you can't afford to have it locking on the wrong um, flex, sorry, the wrong ethanol content at a, when you got a 900 horsepower level, um, you're not gonna have that issue. Uh, also, if you had a dedicated E85 90H tune or 93 in the US, you're never going to have a fully empty tank. Very rarely do people drain the tank completely. So if you had E10, E15, you had E70, etc., you do not have that problem. No more measuring fuel. It will just work. And it will lock your timing. Everything will work much, much nicer. Uh, so enjoy, guys. This will be available on 15 to 23 Mustangs, EcoBoost and 5 litre, including 5.2 GT500. It'll work on the 2.7, 3.5 litre EcoBoost F150s, the 5 litre as well. Uh, that's the entire year range from approximately 2014 to 2020. Uh, we also have other vehicles in the works, so Bronco, Maverick, uh, Explorer, and several others. So enjoy guys. This will be available very shortly through uh, several dealers. Uh, they're all listed on our website. Uh, Lund, Livernoy, Oz, HSI in Dubai. Uh, we've got people in Germany. So worldwide, this is supported. Talk soon.